Hi guys! <laughs> uh, yeah. So today for my video I thought I would wear my green wig. It's a look that some people are going to like and some people are not going to like but I don't really care because I love it. I wanted green hair so much um, until someone told me that green hair was just never going to leave my hair and I was like oh I'll buy a wig then. So I bought a wig. Here's the wig. I'm wearing the wig. I like the wig. Wig. So I have in total five tattoos and kind of seven piercings, wait six, six piercings ish. I'll talk about my piercings first, I should have thought this one through really because I'm going to have to show you my ear and uh, you're going to see that it's, that, you know, I'm wearing a wig. Um, what can you do? So the first, ob obviously the first piercings I have are my first holes and then my second holes and then I have this bit of my ear pierced, you can see my wig, excuse that, this bit of my ear pierced. Um, my first holes I stretched when I was 17 I think, yeah I was 17. Um, I stretched them to 18 millimeters, and I took them out about two years ago and um, I'm quite happy with how they've, how they've gone back. They're just like a very small hole, I can wear earrings in them, no problem, they look the bomb with earrings in and um, so that's actually it for all my piercings obviously apart from my filtrum which you guys probably have seen if you've stuck around for a little while I had my Medusa or my filtrum pierced I had that pierced for about a year ish maybe two I can't really remember maybe it was two years um maybe it was two oh, what is it? um I got it pierced in 2013 at Camden Cold Steel. It's my favourite piercing I've ever had but then I got a job and they made me take it out and it closed up in three hours so goodbye piercing. So that's all my piercings, let's talk about tattoos. When I was younger, this is a funny story, I thought tattoos were disgusting. My sister used to say, oh yeah I'm gonna get a bow on my, uh, on my abdomen to cover my appendix scar. Um, and I'd be like, oh, that's disgusting, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and look who's got all the tattoos now. So I have five tattoos at the moment. My first tattoo is this one. This is inspired by William Morris, Prey Design for Textile. Um, I love William Morris, it reminds me of my mum. So I thought my first tattoo, I'll get something nice to remind me of my mum. Um, I've got this done by Keely Rutherford in... Um, I can't remember what it's called because they're taking the sign down there um, refurbishing but it's on Bethnal Green Road it, I think it was All Star Tattoos I really hope it wasn't called that that's such a cheesy awful tattoo name but um, Killy Rutherford I went there for not for the tattoo shop for the artist um, and I think she did a, an okay job I mean I look back now and think maybe I would have got something a little bit different about it but I do love it still it's part of me forever and, and ever and ever and ever and I love it but um yeah, it's really pretty. Um, a lot of people often point out the pink outlining around the flower. They're like, oh, I didn't see that at first, that part of the tattoo. And I'm like, yeah. They always ask if it glows in the dark. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> the second tattoo I got was this butterfly one. Now, my friend Ryan did this. He's called Ryan Rogers or Ryan Michael Rogers on Instagram. Um, but he is the bomb and he did me 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 did me beautifully. <laughs> Got the end. Did my butterfly for me. It says have wings, will travel. And the story behind that is when I was in school I had this art folder um, and on the because it comes with like a big bit of card inside it, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. And you could like decorate the piece of card. So I put two wings on it and I wrote have wings will travel underneath with loads of like different bits of like newspaper letters. Um, and it's just always been like a mantra, I suppose, like have wings will travel. Um, it makes sense to me, I don't really know, it doesn't make sense when I try and explain it, but it's a bit of me, so I've got that on me forever, and I love it. I'm going to say that very thing. No, 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 no. My third tattoo is this one. Um, I got this one in February, or yeah, February. Um, this year and it's like it's this beautiful gypsy lady with this beautiful feather headdress and she's got these lovely flowers and this lovely plait and um, some pretty stars here 
and I adore this. I think it's beautiful. Um, my friend Catherine uh, Stula did this for me. Um, and then I went on to get two more tattoos from her, which I'll talk about in a minute. But I just wanted like a lovely gypsy lady, like beautiful witchy enchantress kind of thing. So that's what I got. The next tattoo I got is this one, which I'm probably gonna have to scoot over a little bit to show you. Um, so this is like an envelope with a hand. Um, Catherine did this one too. I got this in, I've actually got a vlog of me getting this. I think I got it in March or April. I don't know, April probably. Um, and it's to represent like all the lovely handwritten love letters that everyone likes to each other. I do love old romantic things. Um, so it's like a love letter and then a lovely hand holding it. It's just really traditional and pretty and I love it. And then the last one I have is these two hearts. It's an L and a T and that's um, for my nan and granddad. Um, my granddad had two hearts. Um, I'm not sure if they said L or T and we had trouble trying to find photos. Um, but he had, I never met my granddad so I would be able to say from memory. Um, but he had a tattoo on his arm of two hearts for him and my nan. So I've got a similar kind of idea. Um, same artist again, Catherine Ursula, who did this, and it's it's beautiful, and I love it. And my nan was like, "Yes, seal of approval. I like that one." But yeah, so that's it. That's it for my tattoos. I hope you're all well, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.